Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Gyani. This is Shodhya. From today, I'm going to start the placement series and I will share all the important coding questions of MCAT old previous year papers. I have sorted out some important coding questions from MCAT old questions and uh, these questions are repetitive in the MCAT assessment and also in the placement preparation. So if you just find this playlist series, just follow these coding questions. I will be doing so many of questions that can be very much helpful to your exam because uh, these type of questions um, are repetitive. So if you find this placement playlist series, you do these coding questions, you can find this type of question in the placement exam and even the uh, these questions you can find in the actual exam so just be with me just follow this placement series and if you find this video uh, useful just like and subscribe this channel so you can get more updates so let's get started so today's question is we have to find the frequency of characters in a given string so this question is repetitive in the MCAT old question paper and I have sorted out this question. So you can find this type of question in the actual exam and also this question also. So let's start the program. It is very simple program. You have to just understand the logic. So I will be doing this uh, particular question in Java. You can do in C and Python. But the logic is same. Okay, logic is same. Just understand the logic. Okay. So at first, uh, as we have to find the frequency of characters in string, so we have to take the string as an input, right? So at first we are taking the string. So string str equal to sc dot next line. So this particular comment will uh, take the input in string. Very simple. Now what we will do that, I, we have to create an array, right? We have to create an array where I will store the character of the string and then we will just increment it. So that's the purpose of the array. So let's take the, uh, let's create the array. Okay, so I am just uh, giving the name as freak. Then uh, I am just uh, creating the size as, you can say 100. Okay, so I am taking the size as 100. You can take anything, right? So we have created the array. Now what you have to, have to do that, I, would, I have to iterate through the uh, string length and we have to just put the character of the string in the frequency array, right? This is very much simple. So let's do that. So for int i equal to 0, i less than, we have to take the string length, so str dot length, okay, and then i plus plus, right, so we have to just uh, put the character of the string in the frequency array, so what we will do that, fr eq frick, then we have to uh, typecast the string length characters, such that this frequency array will contain the integer, so we will do the typecasting, then we have to just use the comment caret, just that the string length or the string uh, will be converted into the character. So str dot caret i, okay. So this str dot caret i will be converting the string into characters and this character will be typecasted in int and this integer will be iterated through the frequency and we have to just increment it. That is a simple case, right. So this is, I think it is very much clear. Now we have to do that. Uh, what we have to do that? Uh, we have to just giving some uh, condition such that uh, the printing will be uh, complete, right? So we have to just take another loop, okay? But in this case, we have to just take the frequency length, the frequency array length because the character of the string has been put into the frequency array. So we will consider the frequency length. So, frequency if I could dot length because it is array, so we will not use the function. Then uh, we have to give some conditions such that the printing will be complete. So, first condition is that the frequency array would not be the zero, okay, it will be greater than zero. So, that is the first condition. So, frequency i not equal to zero. Second condition is that we will ignore the blank space in the string, we will ignore the blank space. So what you will do that? Uh, we have to just uh, type curse the i because the i is actually iterating through the frequency array. So i is actually containing the, all the characters and all the uh, repetitive or the characters, how many times the character is repetitive. So we have to just type cut, type cast this uh, i in character, right? So I am just type casting this i in character and just giving the condition that it will not be containing the blank space. Okay, so 
frequency are not equal to zero, it will uh, it will be considering that there will be no zero in the frequency i or frequency array, and this character i, type casted i, is containing the uh, giving the condition that there will be no blank space in the string, or the uh, that will be printed. So this is the condition. Now we have to just simply uh, print. Okay, we have to just simply print the uh, output. So System dot out dot print ln. What will do that? We have to again consider the uh, type casting i because type this character i is actually indicating the characters. Okay, this is this character i is actually indicating the characters, right? So we have to just considering that. So we have to just put this character i. Okay, simple. And then we have to just give a space for the output, and then we have to just simply printing out the how many times the characters come in the output. So frequency i, okay. So the frequency i uh, will be the how many times, okay. But the how many times, but the char Char i is indicating that the characters, okay, characters. So this is the final code, right? So this is the final code. Just uh, close the loop. This is the first one and second loop. So code is completed. So we have just we uh, have just completed the code. Just understand the logic. So let's just print it. Okay, so you can see that that there is no compile time error. So I am just taking as a T E C H take and again take, right? See, T comes two times, H comes two times, E comes two times, C comes two times. You can just verify it. It is completely okay, right? Again, we have to just verify that whether it is considering the blank space because we have just uh, given the condition that there will be no blank space. So let's do that. so just last uh, again uh, consider the previous example so take and take okay there is blank space so see there is no such uh, condition there is no such a blank space that is actually printing out so it is very much okay okay that's it guys i think you have found this video very much helpful so if you like this video please like this video and subscribe my channel i will come up with so many of coding questions of mcat previous year and i will be sharing in this channel so it will be very much helpful to you if you find this playlist series and follow this with determination so just like uh, like this video and subscribe this channel so so we can get the connected so that's it thank you guys